Hello, welcome back to Kanchanaburi. It's been a couple of days since my last vlog, I had a couple in the bank from this one. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on the turn of events. I was coming back from the Mets, my, from my friend's house, Norman's. He lives a few miles out of the city. And there was a car right up behind me when I was on the motorbike. So I pulled in a little bit and slowed down to let him pass. I pulled in too far, hit a lot of gravel and hit them. It went straight off the road. Uh, the bike was okay, the bike went straight in the long grass, but I hit a tree on old handlebars. And that's the current situation. Not looking good, but still got a smile. It is what it is. These things happen, accidents happen in life. It's how you pick yourself up and move on. That's all it is. I was gonna leave YouTube for a week or so while I recovered. But yeah, I wanna show you the ups and downs of everything in Thailand. And the show must go on. So at the moment, I'm just having to walk through the market. And it's Songkran this weekend. Like I say, today is just gonna be a short vlog. And then tomorrow, I'll go right into the Songkran celebrations. I'm feeling a lot better today. Like I said, this happened two days ago. And uh, one of my eyes, I couldn't even open until today. So I'm, I'm feeling a lot, lot better. But yeah, these things happen. These things happen. The bike was fine. I'm on the mend. There was no hospital treatment needed. Hospital treatment needed. Just a lot of antiseptic cream, which the girls who run the hotel have been fantastic. They've insisted they put the cream on me all the time and they make sure I'm all right. Yeah, they've been really, really good. I couldn't ask for anything more. Like you say, the show must go on. Right now, I need to eat. I'm just going to walk down the river, take it easy today. Let's have a nice relaxing walk. I was got some belly pork and rice. I only asked for two sticks of belly pork, and the guy just insisted that I take the sticky rice as well for nothing. The lovely people here, they really are. This is why Kanchanaburi is my favourite city. The people are so caring. Ooh, I do love cakes. Obviously being green, it's coconut. Sorry, Carb. Yes, today's all about just addressing the situation and about the comments. I do apologise profusely. Um, I, like, so for two days, I could only see out of one eye and it was very, very painful. So as I have tried to keep up the comments as much as possible. If I missed anyone out, I do apologise. I'll be back on the ball in the next couple of days. And the vlogs will keep on coming. The vlogs will keep on coming. I want to show you more of Kanchanaburi. Me and my friend Norman, who's got me a Kanchanaburi Dragon's Top. I love it. Such a good friend. Uh, we're going to go on a road trip uh, down to the Mud Bridge. I think it's the largest wooden bridge in Thailand. Stop over the night. It's what, a three and a half hour ride from here. Stop the night, come back the next day. And I'll show you around. Show you what we like. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a road trip with Norman. <laughs> Just heading towards the temple with my food. Just to relax. Taking my surroundings. And we'll see what the mayhem is like. I think Song Kong should have kicked off today. I'm hoping not to get drenched with no water. Obviously with my open wounds. Uh, my knees are not looking too good either. And yeah, it's, uh, the water in Asia, it's not the best. I'm sure you know that. So I don't want to get any infections or anything. I've been using plenty of, like you say, plenty of antiseptic cream. If you've watched my vlogs in Kanchanaburi before, you'll know this is one of my favourite places to come and just relax and eat. You've got all the trees, all the wildlife, it's very quiet. 
and I've got some pork and rice. Just fed one of the dogs as I'm walking down. Oh, that was painful to eat. Very, very painful. I think if you, like I say, if you watch me vlogs all the time, you'll know I was knocked over when I was a child. And I got all the roof me the roof me now uh, my mouth knocked out. I've got four titanium plates, two on either side. And they took a shudder. They took a big shudder. So yeah, I'm feeling very, very tender right now, shall we say. Eating is not easy. So I'll share my food with the dog. So if you don't know what Song Krang is, it's the Thai New Year. So today is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow, obviously, New Year's Day. So a lot of people at the temples giving merit before the celebrations kick in. And Song Krang is basically just one big water fight. Everybody has water cannons, water butts, buckets, and it's just, yeah, it's just water everywhere. Celebrations are kicking in, sweaty cap. Wow, that's loud. Outside the governor's residence near the old town gates. Here we go. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm really, really struggling today. Oh, this is so hard. I just wanted to keep you informed and let you know what's going on rather than going up line. Like I said, I want you to know the ins and outs of Thailand and travelling, travelling in general, it's not just Thailand, that could have gotten anywhere. But yeah, today's a big, big struggle, hopefully tomorrow there's some ground. I'll be a lot better to show you a lot more. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Nice walk down the river. This is one of the things that makes Kanchali Bui so special, the River Kwai. It is so peaceful. It's like when I was in Nong Kai, next to the Mekong. But Nong Kai hasn't got nothing on Kanchali Bui. Nowhere has. Nowhere has for me. And I've travelled a lot of places in Thailand. But Kanchali Bui is so special. If you are travelling here, you have to visit. You really do. I'm just walking up towards the night market. It's only early, so it shouldn't be so busy right now. Still a lot of smoke kicking about. As you probably know, it's smoky season at the moment where the farmers burn the fields. But as soon as that finishes, I'm going to be heading up north up towards Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. I'm going to go to Chiang Mai, get a bike and do another road trip. Go right up to, to Chiang Rai, up to the Golden Triangle. I'll be going to see Walkabout Wayne when I'm in Chiang Mai. Uh, we had a lot of interaction and messages. And yeah, if you've seen his channel, Walkabout Wayne, he's based in Chiang Mai. We travel about a lot. And we'll be messaging for quite a while and we're both keen to meet up. And yeah, I'll get a bike from there and do a little tour of the the northwest side. You've watched very from the very beginning of my channel. I did the Mayhon Song loop and that was a great experience. It was really bucket list stuff. 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up to Chiang Rai and up towards, like you say, the Golden Triangle towards the Burmese border. Here's the Skywalk. And the night market. There's a floating restaurant. What a party atmosphere. They have loads of these going up and down the River Kwai. What a lovely evening for it. Without the smoke, mind. I've already covered this uh, this market in the Kanchan Brody playlist. It's a Saturday night weekend market. One night a week. So we're going to see more in depth view. Check that out. 30 baht, chicken nuggets and chips. I'm on my way up towards River Kwai Road. There's a real party atmosphere going on. I've just got four little chicken kebabs. And they were little because they're only 12 and uh, 12 by uh, 5 by each, sorry, 12 baht. They're uh, 5 baht, so it's 12p. I didn't want anything too big. There's a unique experience for you. Just getting slowly towed down the river. One table and chairs. Just next to the skate park and the night market. Well, you see the bridge there, where I've done another vlog, is on the other side at the temple market, the floating market. It's really nice walking down the back of the market, just seeing everyone have picnics. So relaxing. I'm just heading off underneath the bridge towards the temple market. They're enjoying some corn. And on that note, I'll leave it here. So I'm really struggling. Uh, it's was awful yesterday. I feel loads, loads better. So tomorrow, we'll get into the Sunkan celebrations, the last day, and then me and Norman, the day, the next day after, we'll go and check out more of uh, Kanchanaburi province. Thank you all for watching. I so much appreciate it. And I hope you understand, life abroad, life away, life in Thailand, wherever you go, it's not always the ups. You've got to show the downs as well. And now and again you do get to take these hits. But it's how you move on. It's how you move on from these hits. And I'm always smiling. 
I'm always smiling and it's a painful smile <laughs> it really is but yeah thank you all so much I hope you have an amazing day loads of travels coming up please like subscribe do all the good stuff share it with your friends I appreciate you all so 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 much the temple market's not on I thought it was from the looks of things from the other side of the bridge but yeah it's only on Friday nights I thought um, with Suncron they might have made an exception but it wasn't to be again have an amazing day I'll see you in the next vlog.